Hi. Now for this question, it's all about connected particles. And uh, what we've got here is two particles, P and Q, of masses 0.3 kilograms and 0.5 kilograms respectively. And they are joined by a light horizontal rod. The system of particles and the rod is at rest on a horizontal plane. And at time t equals naught, a constant force f of magnitude 4 newtons is applied to q in the direction of pq. Now, the system moves under the action of this force until t equals 6 seconds. And during the motion, the resistance to the motion of p has magnitude 1 newton and the resistance to the motion of Q has a constant magnitude of 2 newtons. And there's quite a few parts to this question. I'm just going to look at part A where we've got to find the acceleration of the particles as the system moves under the action of force F. Well, we've got to put these forces on the diagram. We've got the force F, which I'll just go over in red here, OK, of 4 newtons. But what other forces are there going to be? Well, on P, we're told that there is a resistance of constant, ma constant magnitude 1 newton. So I'll put that in, acting back in that direction, 1 newton. Also, on Q, there is a resistance. On Q, the resistance is 2 newtons. So I'll put a force going back of 2 newtons there. Now, because the particles are connected by this light horizontal rod, there's going to be tensions acting in the rod. There's going to be a tension pulling P in this direction, T newtons will say, and there's going to be a tension equal and opposite to this one pulling back on Q. So we'll just mark that there as T newtons. Later on, we're going to have to find out what that tension is. That's in part C of this question. Now, there are other forces here which I know don't enter the problem, but I'm going to mark them in anyway, because I believe they should be marked in. And that's the weight of each of the particles. The weight is always mg, so this will be 0.3g newtons. And the weight of Q, that's going to be 0.5 g newtons and there'll be a contact force acting upwards i'm going to call this a reaction at p okay and that's newtons and there'll be one up here and that will be r q newtons it's just a habit that i feel you ought to get into okay is putting all the forces acting on the particles rather than just some of them also, we've got to uh, mark on the acceleration. So we've got the acceleration, which I'm going to mark here. Because they are tied together, connected together by this light rod, OK, then they're going to move off with the same acceleration. I'm going to call that acceleration A, A meters per second per second. OK, so that's the diagram. Quite a lot of work just for this first part, but we're going to need these forces anyway for later parts to this question. So anyway, if we're finding this acceleration, all we've got to do is apply Newton's second law. Force equals mass times acceleration. And we can apply it over the whole system. We can think of this as one particle. One particle with a mass of a total of 0.3 kilograms and 0.5 kilograms. In other words, 0.8 kilograms. So if we resolve, OK, we'll resolve to the right using Newton's second law, taking right as positive, then the overall force acting on this system is going to be 4 to the right, and then we've got minus the 2. And then we've got minus t. And we've got plus t. And then we've got minus 1. That's the overall force acting on the particles, which we're going to say have a combined mass 
of 0.8 kilograms. So that's going to be 0.8 for the mass and then we're multiplying it by the acceleration. So if you simplify this, the two tensions cancel one another out. So we needn't really have bothered with those okay, in this sum here. But nonetheless, we've got 4 minus 2 minus 1. That gives us 1. So therefore, we've got 1 equals 0.8a. Divide both sides by 0.8. You get a equals 1 divided by 0.8. And that leaves us with a result of 1.25. So the acceleration is 1.25 meters per second per second. Okay.